Hello everyone, Killswitch423 here, back for more Skyrim goodness. As I was messing with some equipment and options, I noticed an option to talk to Lydia about Carewoodwin, which is interesting, and I'm actually... Let's see if there's anything else to talk to Lydia about before we move on. See if we can talk to our companions. Oh, I also forgot to do one thing. I'm going to set... Uh, I'll, just, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Um, so, what does being a Thane mean, exactly? The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Oh, I'm really hungry. Okay, so, about Carewoodin. Uh, introduce you. I understand. Hello, Lydia. How are you? Oh, this is cool. Nice to meet you. Good job, Mod. My name is Carewood. Most everyone just calls me Carrie. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Interesting. Okay, that was a cool little interaction. Don't you go tracking your dirty boots on Sorry. the floor. Sorry, ma'am. I, I apologize. Need something carved? I'm your woman. Let's see if anyone has anything to talk about. Let's talk for a bit. I hope you got a bottle of something strong if you expect me to get mushy with you. <laughs> I don't, friend. So is there a story? I, I know she's changed armor now because she has better stuff on, but... Ignore that. <laughs> Aye, there is. Stick with me long enough and I'll tell ya. Alright. All right, so let's talk about home. So basically, I'm gonna tell everyone that if we ever get separated or anything happens, we need to meet here at uh, Dragon's Reach for now until I get a house. We'll gather here. This place looks like a good home base. Me too. Send a word to the others. Alright, so now everyone knows to meet back here. Um, this is where we will all gather if we get separated or if I have to switch party. Now that I have three people, I'm never going to keep more than three with me because as it is, even with two, it's incredibly powerful. Um, but Which is good because, like I said, I'm not really much of a fighter. <laughs> um, my character at least. At least he doesn't see himself as, even though he's now Dragonborn and fought a dragon and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah. I plan on relying on them to do a lot of the combat, um, and me just sort of playing a supportive role. Um, which is not, I've never been able to play this game as sort of a party-based game. I just think it's kind of neat. Um, so we've spoken with them. Let's see if Carrie has anything else to say. Um, How may I help you? I also haven't actually fully explored, uh, fully explored all these. Um, okay, that's interesting. Um, let's talk some more. Yes. Let's see if she has anything else to say about this. I don't know what to say. I'm here on behalf of my temple to seek... Okay. More I can't say right now. I'm right behind you. But that was... Why she changed outfits? Alright, um, so let's talk. How may I help you? Uh... How are you doing? Let's see. Hungry? I'm doing alright. Thanks for asking. Okay. Because I'm pretty hungry. How may I help you? Let's make sure I'm not missing anything here. Yes? Hmm, 
it's an interesting option. Okay. My Lord Donna, All right. guide my hand. Alrighty. Alright, guys. Let's go get some food. <laughs> been told to the gods that you are dragonborn. But such a thing. Surely that's not possible. Um, well, there's this. Power alone. The voice of the dragonborn. There you go. <laughs> that's kind of cool. I like being somebody and having respect for once. This is a change of pace. I'm not used to it. If all those idiots back in home could see me now, I have to go back there someday. But not today. Hmm. All right, to the tavern, everybody. Hey there. Will you be my father? I promise you, as soon as I find a home for us. We wandered round Skyrim all day and all night. So each time he came home, he put us for fire. I guess that's what the wives around Skyrim must be like. If I ever get married, my husband better not leave me out. Why is everyone talking about marriage all of a sudden? Oh, it's yeah, weird. I didn't say you had, sir. Jeez. All right, um, trader. Yeah, let's let's, let's unload some of this stuff. I thought there was general goods. My pack's getting kind of heavy. Let me know if you see anything you like. I work for Bellathor at the general goods store. Okay. Everything's Hello. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. I can buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's a little joke. Oh, okay. How's business? Interesting, to say the least. What with all that's been going on. On the one hand, supplies are harder to come by since fewer traders are traveling the roads these days. Uh -huh. But on the other, the scarcity of supplies has led to some, well, elevated prices. Uh-huh. All that matters is that I have what you need, and it's worth every septum. I'm sure. All right, what do you got for sale then? Take a look. Keep that. Uh, keep that. Sell that. Books I'm going to keep. This is important. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that anyway. Um. Sell one of those. Keep those, those are interesting. Never wearing this hat. <laughs> Clothes and boots I'll keep. Uh, I'll probably never use this, I'll sell that. I will sell this. I'll sell, keep the soul gem. That's an interesting one. Excuse me. Might actually need those. Priestess of Dawn Blast. Oh, that's about... I need to read that, actually. Because that that's relates to Carriage One. Um, they're cool, but I'm never actually going to use them. Oh, wow, I need to read these. Oh, that's cool. I'll sell this staff, though. Oh, never mind. We're not low on gold. Uh, Archer. That, keep that. I'll pretend this letter was delivered to me at some point. Cells. Oh, crap. I did not mean to sell that. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Ooh. 
It's a better cloak anyway, isn't it? Uh, fine. Okay. Anyway. Where was I? Uh, yes. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you, good sir. Do come back. All right, now let's go get some food and have a rest. We'll set out for this. That seven thousand steps in the morning. I'm right behind. <clears throat> Jeez, seven thousand steps. That's a lot of steps. Thank you. Past, present, and future. Sadia, wake up here. But point. Uh, let's switch this. Those. Take this off, put that on. Here we go. It's much better. Take off our gauntlets. You want a drink? It's on the menu. Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. Bit of both, please. Let's see what we got. Um, apple dumplings. Sound good. Some, some pie. Bottle of blood wine for tonight. Potatoes. Uh, cheese is good. Apples. I like apples. Some milk? Not nine. Ooh, I can afford a horse. Remember that. A horse would be useful. Uh, okay. Thank you. That's enough for now. Not interested in the red guard thing. That was just sitting there for the taking. What? Okay. All right, let's uh, check our needs. Up that. Hungry, not thirsty though. So, Adina. I hear this song one more time. I swear. <laughs> Foods. Let's have some. Have a big potatoes. And a dumpling. And an apple. All right, and some blood wine. You know, the more I drink, the more the enjoyable this song gets. Let me read that book. Priestess of Dondlas, a field guide for Vale Naren. By Michelle, a dark lady of Canaloon. Okay, so this is about Carrie, okay. I don't I don't know when I got this. <laughs> I guess I assume she'd give it to me at some point. With increasing concern over the recent dragon sightings in the young kingdoms, Lord Donblas of Law, the justice maker, has sent his trusted acolytes to investigate the matter. Lord Donblas believes that the land in the northern reaches of the young kingdoms, referred to by the natives there as Skyrim, will be where the dragon crisis will emerge. Well, yep, yeah, dragons sure. Lord Donblas believes that you, Valnoran, will be instrumental in defeating the threat 
of flame bringers to the young kingdoms and has directed Caridwin Car Carwadin Caridwin Car Carry His acolyte priestess offer aid to you in your time of need. Carrie is one of the brightest acolytes of our temple and will serve you well in your travels. As a priestess of Donblas, her ability to heal battle wounds may be useful to you and your allies. It certainly has been. She may also call upon Lord Donblas for protection in times of need. She is proficient in one-handed weapons and may wear any armor effectively. That said, Carrie should by no means be considered a frontline combatant. She is a priestess and not a warrior. I have asked that she rendezvous with you at the sleeping, Riverwood Sleeping Giant Inn. While battle healing, battle healing remains carried in its core strength, ask, speak with her to ask persons in other areas as discussed in the following pages. Status panel. Okay. Carried current leveled spells are configured in the valid states are pending and complete and are set automatically. Carries current orders for when to heal and cure. This is a top level configuration option we spend speak with Carrie and has something new for blah 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 okay that's just about that you should choose for Outfits and hairstyles. Carrie has been supplied with by the temple with her own equipment and unless directed by you otherwise, decide what to use and where and under what circumstances. If you so choose, may direct that she use equipment they provide. Speak with her. If Carrie chooses her own wardrobe, she will only do so under the following conditions. She's neither following you actively nor otherwise being commanded by action. She is an interior cell. She's neither in combat, sneaking or sleeping. She's not being asked by you indirectly through any other mod to wear another. Okay. Okay, that's okay. So yes, that's why she that's cool. This is a very well done mod, I'm gonna say that much. Okay. That's cool. Alright. I'm glad I read that. I Thank you. Alright, that's enough of that. Off to bed. I've got your back. Uh, uh. Alright, I should probably actually buy a room. Hello. You couldn't possibly be the dragonborn of legend, could you? Let's fill these bottles up real quick. I'm gonna buy a horse on the way out. I know I'm trying to save up for that house, but a horse is gonna help me get to the house if you know it. Uh, need a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. Whoa. Whoa. Sorry. I really need to get to bed. I'll show you to your room right this way. Thank you. In case you're wondering, this it's about me. Uh -huh. Yes. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Thank you. Ah, bedtime. Oh. All right, let's get some sleep. I'm right behind you. Okay, that's you guys can go do as you please. I've got your Um, let's see, it is seven fifty twelve hours. Uh ten hours actually. Uh, it'll be early in the morning, set off. See if we can find. I really miss my friends from home. I like playing cards with Lexi after Vespers. She'd almost always win. Hmm, hungry again. All right. So, actually, let's check our needs real quick now. Hungry, slightly thirsty. Alrighty, food. So, some apples for breakfast? Still hungry. That apple pie. Good. Alright, full. Yeah. That animation right now. Another quiet day, I hope. Excuse me? Let's see if we can't find. Uh, I can't remember the little girl's name. I'm gonna have to remember it. In character. I think he'd remember it by now. 
Why are you looking at me? See if I can find her to give her some gold before we head out, just in case I don't. I hate to say it, but in case I don't make it back. Poor girl. Where is she? You couldn't post Dragonborn of Legend, could you? She. What could it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? And who among us could possibly hold that honor? And such power. <laughs> That'd be me. No big deal. <laughs> ah, okay, don't let it go to your head, Vale. You're not that powerful. Though I did kill a dragon. Sorry, we killed a dragon. Need something? It's heading out for the morning. Where is she? Where is she? Darn, where she go? You? Lucia. Could you spare a I'm so hungry. Of course, here. Should take care of you till I get back. Bless your kind heart. Get yourself something to eat, okay? All right then. Soon, I promise. Alright, I'm glad I'm able to find her before I set out. Alright. To this high Hrothgar place. Gonna climb 7,000 steps. That's a lot of steps. Oh, jeez. Oh, dear. Oh, I switch into my armor. Uh, between this and the next one, I'm going to set up an actual... Uh, okay. Set up an actual uh, group for my armor. Slash, um, you know, out my home outfit, so to speak. Oh, I have those spell books to read. What am I doing? Nice. Dick. Something's an avenging wraith. Cost fifty nine. The thirty seconds. Stats are equal to. Under fifty percent of the opponent that last killed it. Circles of that's cool. Okay. Mm, yes, buying a horse. Good, good. Um, hopefully this doesn't cause this place to get a bug out. I'm going to say it before I even buy the horse and have this as sort of a backup to get back to here. Um, just, I'm going to assume this, this gives us access to everybody having horses, basically. Oh, oh, nope, nope, did not mean to do that. Sorry. Where's the stable master? Oh, don't plan on stealing the horse. Stable master, where are you? Hello? I'd like to buy a horse. Really? I don't have this much time. Okay then. So it's too early. <sighs> oh, I don't have time to wait around. We are heading to Iverstead, so we need to head east. 
along the road, across the river. Okay. I assume I have a map at this point, okay? <laughs> Let me know if you guys want me to turn the compass off for this playthrough. I will if, if you guys want me to. Oh, also road sign. Iverstead. This way. Got it. And I assume it's not that difficult to find Iverstead. So... We got a full party. Look at, this, look at this full party heading out. Nice. May Lord Don Bliss give us his blessing this day so that we might do his will. May he watch over us and protect us as we are all his children. That's, that's neat. He's a very well done mod, I'll say that much. It's very highly rated on the... Follow the road. got time for wolves. Let's harvest anything useful. No way. Was I here? Da, da, da. Oh darn it! Now it's stuck in my head. Thanks, Nadina. Need something? No, just on my way. Stuff. They just hit R, I suppose. All right. Hear that? Sorry guys, my inquisitive is my curiosity is getting the better of me here. What's up here? What? Back off from where? Oh. I'm sorry. I'm warning you. Back off. I okay. No problem. Oh, that's a dead butt. what are you doing? That's close enough. Did you kill these people? Oh dear lord. You everyone okay? Ugh, necromancer necromancy creeps me out. Nope, no thanks. I don't have any interest in this one. <sighs> Teach me to be curious. Well, I'm glad I stopped him before he killed more people. Ugh, let's just make it to Averstead. <sighs> more 
bulls. <laughs> yeah, I'm not worried about wolves at this point. Lydia, you sure can fight. Proved that much. Where'd the road go? Oh. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm at time for the episode. Didn't even realize. Wow. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.